I want to give you guys a quick sample of the woman that got Tyrese Gibson, an innocent man who takes care of his kid, arrested. And I always talk about those who pontificate uh, religion and call God's name in vain. And that's why I always say, let me see the Jesus in you. So let's get a quick sample of this individual real quick before we continue on. Somebody needs to hear this. Let's get into it, family. There are people that think they have gotten away with what they are doing and what they have done to you. And maybe you think they have too, but I want you to know today, they haven't. We reap what we sow in this life. That's law. So family, don't you dare stoop to their level. Don't you dare seek your own revenge. Don't you dare go out of your way to defend yourself, to prove or correct the record to people who truly don't matter. Those who matter already know what it is. Most importantly, I want you to remember that our God sees all things. He hears all things and he is a just God. He will correct the record in his timing in a way you never could. Remember over and over again in the Bible, God allowed impossible situations to occur. A greater story for him to get the glory. God could have saved Daniel from ever entering the lion's den. He could have prevented the three Hebrew boys from ever entering the fiery furnace, but he didn't. He allowed those life-threatening circumstances to occur to show everybody that was watching, everybody that was doubting, everybody that had something to say, that there is a very real God that y'all are playing with when y'all start playing with his kids. It may not be when you want him, but my God is a perfect father and he is always family, always on time. He may not come when you want him, but I am living proof. He is always on time. Fascinating, fascinating. I would... Excuse me, let me stop that real quick. So obviously you heard what she said, and here's the situation that you see that's going on with Tyrese Gibson. I believe the man has been wrongfully incarcerated in this miscarriage of justice. And that's why nobody trusts anybody. The people don't, even some black brothers, brothers like myself, don't even go to church anymore. Because you got these people that are pontificating religion when they don't live. And I always talk about, let me see the Jesus in you. And the truth about people really is in their actions, their character, which is in their behavior. And like when I, when I, when I read this, it talks about right here. What does it mean to when someone says they see the Jesus in you? Others see Jesus in us through love, the depth of this love includes giving grace to others, a merciful heart, and a forgiving spirit. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. And that that's John 13, 35. Okay, this doesn't look like love to me. It looks like something totally different. Here is a man that is a good father, innocent man, that has been incarcerated, not because he failed to take care of his responsibility as a man. I think he's done a great job in taking care of his responsibility and then and all his kids. This is not a criminal. This is a man that's, that stands up for his family and he's really been on record as a big supporter for many of the ladies. And you think that in his time of need, when he's down, that these women will stand up and say, this is wrong, this is unjust. No, because again, they care about, um, what benefits women more than they care about what's right or wrong? They know the system is unfair. And what happens inevitably is a lot of men are just not going to get married in this culture, in this country. Because here's the thing, the child support system, the, the family court system unfairly punishes the men that actually do the right thing. See, Tyrese is in jail. He got locked up. A guy like this, see, a guy like this, who the child support system should be holding accountable would never get punished. He probably never spent a day in jail, but they will lock Tyrese Gibson up. And then you have a certain type of person with a certain type of characteristic that's going to exploit um, a man, fraud. And don't get me wrong, men have a responsibility to protect himself. Men should use common sense. Men should use the better vetting process. But some guys just fall in love with the wrong woman. They picked the wrong woman. And in this culture, many of them have been cultured to do that. They're cultured, even with many of the trad cons and many religious conservatives that are people in the church. Oh, don't worry about the divorce laws. Don't worry about the courts. Don't worry about nothing. Just go ahead and go in there and sign up. 
that's not going to work because again, the pastor doesn't doesn't is not the family court judge. Marriage is not managed in the church. It's managed in the secular world. You're going to have to go through the court, the system, the legislature, the judge, those things to deal with when, when things don't work out. The pastor has no power and no influence over it. And this is where we become in this society where people that actually deserve some accountability don't get any, but that those that do the right thing are the ones that are getting punished the most. And this is what you see now. And we have, again, these grifters. Samantha Lee Gibson is a grifter, obviously, in men's spaces. She, but what she's saying on camera and what she's doing behind closed doors are two different things. She's trying to destroy this man behind closed doors. And this is where we at. What is going to change? Nothing. But here's what's going to change. i tell you what's going to change. And like I tell men in general, you change the laws in your own world. You change the laws of your own world, period. You know how you change it? Okay. If you guys want these unfair family court laws and whatever else, we just won't marry you. Don't marry them. Don't cohabitate with them. Don't have any kids with them. You want, okay, no problem. Problem solved. Non-participation. You know, get yourself some fishing rod, fellas, a good gym membership, some hobbies and some passion. And until they change these unfair and balanced laws, don't marry them. Let them, who cares? You'd be, you'd be crazy to get into that system and put the government in your life because women reserve the right to change their mind. And they don't care about these laws. You think women care about these laws? F that. They're not gonna, they don't care about that crap. You, you just get hoes, you get hoes. It's just the way it is. You take all the risk as a man, you get into it, and if you get hoes, you get hoes. Women don't care, period. Why would anybody want to change something that is so heavily favored for them. Change the laws in your own life, gentlemen, and try and live as peaceful as you can. Make sure you guys hit the like button, and I'll talk to you guys again. And again, to you unicorn women, salute to you. The video is not about you. But in general, I can't see what the, the type of torture that's being handed out today, why any man in his right mind would invite good big daddy government into his life with many of today's modern women. Look, the choice is yours, gentlemen. Do whatever the hell pleases you, but I will not be a part of these plantations. Peace to you guys. Make sure you hit the like button, and I'm out.